In our calendar of things, today is cathode ray tube day. They're pretty uncommon in 2022, but for 70 odd years, nearly every American house had one, if not more CRTs in their homes. That's because the cathode ray tube is what made old TVs work. Today, most TVs use LCDs, but for decades, a beam of electrons shot through cathode ray tubes and electromagnets guided them to sort of paint an image on the back of your TV screen or computer monitor. But now that LCDs are the standard, a lot of people are getting rid of their old sets. And it turns out you can recycle them. Here's Rob Caldwell with a story from 2008. Electronic devices come to life on an assembly line. And when those devices are dead, some of them meet their end here on a disassembly line. This is Uniwaste, a firm in Portsmouth on the cutting edge of recycling. We'll recycle any electronic device that can be plugged into the wall, essentially. Whether it's plastic or steel, if it's an electronic device and it can be plugged in, we can recycle it. Telephones, coffee makers, hair dryers, VCRs, Uniwaste takes those items and more. But the bulk of its business is recycling old TVs and computer monitors. They come rolling in by the truckload, about a thousand TVs and computers a day, packaged in shrink wrap, loaded on pallets. The first step here is recording information on every TV or computer that comes in, either manually or by scanning a manufacturer's barcode. With that information, Uniwaste and its customers can track the waste. Then the employees go to work with hammers and screw guns. TVs have cathode ray tubes and getting them out requires some care. The tube does con consume uh, some amount of air. I want to say 12 to 20 pounds of pressure. And if you crack the tube incorrectly, it can actually explode. Machines and robots assemble TVs and computers, but they can't handle disassembling. It takes people to put them together. It takes people to take them apart. The workers separate all the materials. Plastic, for instance, goes into one bin. The metals go into other bins. Wire ends up in yet another place. All the metals get bailed, the steel, the aluminum, um, the, the copper. That gets bailed and goes to the metals melters where it's, where it's actually melted down and, and reused. Here's something I didn't know. Every once in a while you open up a TV set and they find cockroaches. That's right, cockroaches. Might be the heat, they're not sure, but they're in there. Cockroaches and TV sets. Um, they're everywhere. I mean, they stay outside for a little while, they get up in here. We run them around in here for a little while, we get races, we put money on it, we get it going. And it's not just cockroaches, sometimes they find mice in the TVs. The wood ones, they come in all the time in the wood ones if they've been sitting around for a little while. On the other side of the building, workers are recycling the glass in the TV set's cathode ray tubes. They're like butchers here. They use every part of the pig but the oink. One of our glass customers uses 14,000 ton of glass a month. So to buy raw material for that process is very expensive. Much cheaper to buy recycled pellet. Uniwaste actually got started recycling fluorescent lights, which it still does. Five years ago, this business opened with three employees. Now it has more than 40 with other facilities in Maine, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. What founder Bob Nicholson is proudest of is that it truly does recycle unlike some so-called recyclers who merely ship waste to developing countries where environmental laws are lax to non-existent. But not everything that comes through here is recycled. A minuscule number of items are preserved in the Uniwaste Museum. This one is my personal favorite, a Commodore 64 computer still in the box. Ooh. Oh, they've got some treasures, a portable hi-fi, reel-to-reel, an exceptional TV with a wooden console. This is some good stuff here. Absolutely. Uh, Barry Manilow Barry still Manilow. around, right? <laughs> Jethro Toll. There's even a TV with fake alligator skin. They thought it was unique, then another one came in a week later. Who knows where the recycling industry will go in the years ahead, but we do know this. Americans love their TVs and they love their computers. It's a good bet this stuff will be rolling in for a long time to come.
You know, I've seen a lot of things, but TV <laughs> with fake alligator skin, that's, uh, that takes it. And then there were two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Rob Caldwell with that story from 2008. Universal Recycling Technology says they're still seeing cathode ray tube monitors rolling down the DSMB line every day. That is pretty